the top's glued together well. Um, there's a, not really a noticeable joint because I did my best to match up the grain. There's a there's a bit of where you can see where the glue's been, but I can sand that out. Nothing too uh, too extreme, but it's a nice solid joint. Um, I'm pleased with that. The top is going to sit on top of the box like that. I'm going to cut it down to size in a sec on the table saw to get it to sit um, as I want inside the box. I'm actually going to cut a rebate out all around the edge so that it's going to sit inside the box. The idea is that the top will protrude by about 10 millimeters on the top and so the remainder will sit down inside the box. To cut the rebate I'm going to use my table saw. I've set the blade to 9mm high to give uh, 10mm for the wood on the lid and I've set the width to be 16mm to take into account the 3mm of the blade curve. Now going to use the saw to take out the rest of the material. The glue's dried now on the lid. There's a little bit of an overlap along the edge where I, I cut it slightly bigger, so I'm just going to use the orbital sander to, to sand it all flat. There's, there's, there's only about probably half a millimetre, so I can take it all off with the orbital sander. And the whole thing needs a good sand in before I uh, actually cut the lid off. Before I cut the lid off, I'm going to use a very small radius roundover bit to take the edges off these sides of the box, um, so the four edges. The reason being, I want the roundover to be uniform before I cut the lid off to make sure that I don't have to do a matching exercise afterwards. So I'm just going to uh, run these through on the router table um, and it will give it a nice, hopefully a nice small radius. I've rounded over all the edges now and given it a light hand sanding with some 120 grit sandpaper. I'm going to hit the rest of the corners with um, some much finer sandpaper on the orbital sander, some 200 grit just to make it nice and smooth because it's going to be difficult to do once the lid's cut off. So that's the 
underside of the lid sanded and the, the top of the box. I've just gone around the edges with some fine grit sandpaper just to take the lips off. Not to take away much material but just to just to make it so there's no nasty edges on it. I wish I'd bought more rough grit sandpaper for this because it was blooming hard work so if you're going to do this get something like 60 or 80 grit sandpaper I used 120 and it was far too hard work um, and it took me ages and I'm knackered <laughs> for the hinges I'm using these chrome I think they're called rail hinges I got them on eBay they're going to sit recessed in the lid and the base use a 6mm route a bit and route them in about two and a half millimeters deep and sit in there and fold flat like that The hinges came with these little chrome screws, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fit those and make sure everything's all lined up before I do any finishing of the box. I've used Danish oil <coughs> on the box. I've used two types. I've used this one that's got a, um, it says Georgian medium oak. And I've used this one, which is just a natural finish. Um, the medium oak one, although it's walnut, it just darkens the wood slightly. Um, and I think it gives it a really, really nice finish. It's had um, four coats of Danish oil with a with a moderate um, sanding in between with just some 600 grit sandpaper it's it's really nice and smooth I'm gonna do a final finish with this um, wax polish with some steel wool just to take any dust nubs that are off of it and I'm gonna give it a good buff in with a cloth so that should um, that should finish the box nicely and then uh, I'm going to I'm going to put the hardware on, but before I do any of that, I'm going to actually line the inside of the box. So I'll I'll do that now. To line the box, I'm going to use self adhesive felt over some basic cardboard. I'm going to cut the cardboard to the right size and shape, and then wrap it in the felt, and then glue it to the insides of the box where I want to place it. So first of all, I'm going to just cut the cardboard to shape. I've cut the cardboard and placed it on top of the adhesive felt and then cut the corners at roughly 45 degrees. This will enable me to, to fold it over with not much overlap and I can always, always trim it afterwards. So I've cut and covered all the pieces of cardboard in the adhesive felt. I'm going to stick them on with some double sided tape, um, carpet tape. But first of all I just want to make sure they all fit. Which is looking like they do. Funny that. <laughs> 
So the box is fully lined now, and so is the lid. I'm going to give it the final treatment coat now with this uh, wax polish just around the outside, and then I can put the hardware on. To apply the wax, I'm using this uh, 4 0 rated steel wool. It takes all the dust nubs or nibs off the top of the of the finish but doesn't scratch the surface and uh, allows the wax to penetrate. I'm going to wipe all the wax on and then buff off in about 20 minutes. That's the end of the video. I really enjoyed making the box and the wife's birthday has been and gone now and she's really happy with it. I'll um, make sure there's some pictures of the box with the shoes I bought her. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, there'll be links to some of my other videos. There'll be a link here. And one of the things that I'm trying to do is to raise some money for a charity that's very close to my heart. There'll be a link to the video about the charity here. Um, and if you'd like to make a donation rather than me having a, a Patreon page or, or something like that, then feel free to go on. Uh, it's called a Just Giving page. And even if it's 10p, 10 cents, 50p, 50 cents, a pound, a dollar, a euro, it doesn't matter. Every little helps. I'm trying to raise a thousand pounds because my employer will match it. So um, I'm trying to do a different charity every year. So there'll be a, a different video here, depending on when you view the video, um, depending on what year it is. Hopefully this will be around for quite a while. So please feel free to make a donation. And also if you'd like to subscribe, if you're not a subscriber already, feel free to subscribe and there'll be a link to subscribe to my channel. Hopefully see you again soon.